welcome back to my channel learn smart coding in this video we're going to see about animation and we're going to animate the route transition so smoothly transitioning from one route to the next can add some polish to the application it looks very nice we define route transition with animation but if you look at the demo you can clearly see that what we are animating we are closely animating all the content within the router so anything that placed inside the router router is what we are animating. You can also see I have removed a footer for uh, this demo. Animating our route requires four steps. The first one is we have to import the animation model to access the animation directives. The second one is we need to define the desired animations. The third one is to register the animation with the component. And then we trigger the animation when the router outlet is activated. That's it. Let's take a look at these steps in detail. We start here in the root application module, which is the app module, and we import the browser animation module. So if you go to the app module and we need to import the browser animation module. So let's go to the app module and quickly import the browser animation module, which is already imported here. All right. So this gives us an angular animation feature. Next, we define the desired animation. I am defining the animation in its own file app.animation.ts. I'm going to create that file. And since the goal of this video is to make our route transition look smoother, nothing else other than this, I'm not going to go in detail about every single thing. So you can always learn more in Angular animation feature. Now let's do the basic thing. So here we define a constant called slide in animation. So I've copy pasted a code and I'm going to explain it. So there is a constant that we are exporting called slide in animation and set it to an animation trigger by the same name. The animation is triggered or it started by the defined transition. We use star here to denote that the animation should trigger on a transition between any two states. That's why there are two stars, which is our case is any route activation happens. This will trigger. So we could instead define the animation names for our routes and use those names here to implement different animation based on the routes. So that is also possible to for every single route, you can have different animation. But for, for this demo, everything is going to be a same slide in animation. All the remaining of this code is all about the definition of the animation. So we use the query function to select the elements to animate, define their styles and animations and specify any options. This query uses colon enter. This is to select any newly inserted elements, which means routing is the component template we are routing to. The second argument is the animation sequence. Here we used the EC transition for a specified number of seconds, transforming the elements by translating them onto the X axis, basically sliding it horizontally from right towards left. The third element sets optional to true, which prevents the animation from getting any error if there is no newly inserted element is found. You can always go and check the angular.io for more syntax in the documentation. All right, we can import the appropriate animation module and define our animation. Now the third step is to register the animation in one of our component, looking at the app component template. And this is where our router outlet is present. So this is the component that we need to put this animation. So we register the animation by adding it to the metadata on the app component decorator. And we will import that namespace. So we set the animation property to an array of the animation we wish to use. Here we have only one. So we will put slide in animation. Our last step is to associate the animation with the correct element in the HTML, which is our router outlet. Now going back to the template, we add a template reference variable to our router outlet element so we can reference it in our template. Next, next we use an add sign to specify the directives for our animation. We bind this directive to assign an animation state for the animation trigger that we built. When our router outlet is activated, we assign the animation state to the activator route. Otherwise, we assign an empty string. So, so that's it. Now let's see how it works in the demo. So you can see clearly in the demo, I'm navigating from one route to a different route by clicking different items on the menu. And you can clearly see 
the slide in is happening for every single route so it's it's actually sliding in from right towards left i hope you learned a different topic today and enjoyed it thanks for watching if you like my video don't forget to subscribe my channel like it share it comment it and never forget to click on the bell icon